Hi everyone, so today we are going to build an agent on Google Cloud using what they call playbooks and uh, just to understand how what it means and how it compares to flows which we've already looked at earlier. Playbooks are more generative in nature so what will happen is that it will use generative features like LLMs to understand the user intention and generate agent responses and guide the journey of the user through the you know agent conversation. But in flows what happens is that the LLM understands the user intention and then matches it to an explicit intention that's pre-coded in. And once that intention is matched, the flow is very deterministic because for that intention you will make a route that basically leads to a new page or a new flow inside the whole conversation. So uh, the flow based agents are basically more deterministic in nature but playbook based agents are more generative in nature and it basically helps you to make and define and maintain the agent much faster compared to a flow based agent. So we're going to look at this today. All right. So before we begin, we need to set up dialogue flow. And uh, for that, we also need to set up a Google cloud project. If you look at the description, we have provided a link for one of our videos where you can actually create a Google account and a project and also get their free credits, which provided for each new account to actually, you know, uh, develop and test stuff on Google Cloud without actually having to spend a lot of money on your own. So just follow that and you know you can create a Google Cloud project for yourself and a lot of the APIs will be enabled as we go along in the project. Just a note about playbooks. So basically, basically playbooks are named entities you know with certain goals which basically tell the, what the playbook needs to accomplish. There are some instructions which basically tell the playbook how to accomplish that goal and then there are some examples which we call few short prompt examples which basically tell the agent how to effectively respond you know given a certain query and we learn more about it as we basically create the agent. Alright so we're going to jump right ahead and create the agent and for that we'll go to the Vertex AI Agent Builder console that we have previously seen in other, other videos. So we'll go to the console over here okay and we need to select a project so we can select new project over here and let's just name it let's name it my new project and then let's click on create all right so once you create the project you again come to the vertex ai agent builder and as we did before read and agree to the terms of service and then click continue and activate the api this will take a moment to activate the api and once it's activated it directly takes you to the create app screen over here with uh, the first option to select the type of app that you want to create over here. So we're going to scroll down and select conversation agents over here and click on create. Okay, and let's select build your own over here. All right, I'm going to put a name for this as shirt ordering assistant for the example that we are following. We let the region be and let the time zone be as it is and let the default language be the same as well. And let's select playbook over here because that's the kind of agent that we want to create. And let's click on create after that. The flow agent is the other agent that we have already seen in our previous videos and we're not going to do that for now. Okay, so we need to enable the Dialogflow API and I'm going to do that now. For that, you can actually go to Google Cloud Console, search for Dialogflow, select the API that comes over here and then click Enable. And when it is done, you'll see a confirmation page after that showing the API details. Okay, and here's the confirmation page and now we know that this API is actually enabled. You can directly go back to our conversational agent and then click create over here. So this brings us to the default generative playbook which is in the Dialogflow console for conversational agents. And what you see over here just to understand this console is that there's a build tab with the option for playbooks, flows, using use of tools using some pre-built components, testing and evaluating conversation history from production, etc. So we're going to look at that later, but now we're going to focus on playbooks over here. And we have the default generative playbook by default open over here uh, for us after we have created the new app. So what we can do is we can click on back and see the list of all the playbooks that we can have, uh, that we have already over here. Just to point out, Google mentions over here that they're introducing conversational agents, which is a new console for building hybrid agents. So they can basically, you can use playbooks and flows together for more powerful agents. And this is the best of agent console in Dialogflow CX. So this is the Dialogflow CX console for conversational agents. We have playbooks over here and now we'll create a new playbook. Let's call it the order playbook. All right, so we added that name over here and then we're going to enter the goal for this particular playbook. The more general goal is that, you know, you're a shirt ordering assistant, sh shirt store ordering assistant and you'll help customers purchase shirts. The more specific goal is to help the customer choose a size and color and the sizes and the colors are mentioned over here. Now, as we saw earlier, we are going to provide instructions on how to achieve this particular goal. So let's copy it from the example in the docs. So if the customer has not provided a size, 
the agent should ask them for the size or the playbook should ask them for the size. If the customer has not provided a color, the playbook should ask them to choose a color. And once the customer has selected a size and color for the shirt, we repeat the selection to the customer and ask them to confirm the selection. Once the customer has confirmed the selection, we let them know that the shirt is now ordered and do not provide the prices or collect payments. So that's not the job of this particular playbook and do not collect the customer information. And that's again, not the job of the playbook. So we have some positives over here, what that, what it needs to do. And there are some negatives, which basically means that, you know, don't do these two things. So that's how we provide the instructions to this particular playbook. And it's pretty simple so far. And once you have done with that, you can actually click on save. Once it's saved, we can click on the back button. So this is the order playbook, which basically helps the customer choose a size and color and just tells the customer that you've then ordered the shirt. Now we create another playbook called the information playbook. So we'll add information as a name for the goal. We'll add this goal as we provide information about a shirt store and we've already provided the information over here. So the information that we can provide is that the store is open between eight to 6 PM every day. And the store is located at 1007 mountain drive, Gotham city, New Jersey. So that's the goal that they're going to provide for the instructions on how to provide the information about a store. We say that if the customer asks for the store location, provide them with the address and the address is in, inside the goal itself. And if the, if the customer asks for the store hours, provide them with the hours, which I mentioned over here. Now we again click on save and click on back after it has saved. So now we have these two playbooks with us, one that helps to order a particular shirt from the store and one that provides information about the store location and timing. All right. And now there's also a third playbook, which is the default generative playbook, which was created for you when you created the application. And this is basically used to steer the conversation from the user to one of these playbooks to achieve the particular goal in that playbook. So let's set up this playbook, which is the default playbook, which is represented by the star over here. It basically used to set up your default playbook over here. So we'll click this playbook to set it up and let's enter the goal as this. So you're an, you're an assistant for a shirt store and your name is Samantha and your job is to direct customers to other playbooks based on the customer's questions. And for instructions on how to do that, let's put this. So if the customer hasn't been greeted yet. We greet the customer first. So you introduce yourself and ask the user how you can help. So that's a specific, you know, uh, instruction for this particular playbook. And then if the customer wants information about the store, route them to playbook information. And that's how you specify another playbook in the application. And if the customer wants to purchase a shirt, then you route them to the other playbook, which is this. Just formatting this a bit to remove the tabs over here. And now we can click the save button over here and then click the back button to return to the list of playbooks. So now we have set up these three playbooks. So this is, you know, our default playbook, which is going to greet the customer and ask them what they can be helped with. And then based on the response, either guide them to the order playbook or the information playbook to either place the order or to get information about a particular store respectively. Okay. So now we have set up the three playbooks and we are going to go to the simulator over here. So this is the button for toggling the simulator on and off. And we go over here and select the environment is draft and resource is default generative playbook. And we select the model as Gemini one pro. And then we type the word hello over here. And we're greeted by the agent saying that, hi there, my name is Samantha and how can I help you today? Now we can save this as a particular example so from invocation, select default generative playbook and then click it as a click save as example over here. Then you can put a display name as greetings. If you want, you can update this particular output and you can add more entries over here for agent responses, but we're going to just keep it the same and remove this and then click on save. Now let's close this. Let's click on reset conversation and then let's select the information playbook. Let's again choose Gemini 1.0 as the model and enter the text. Where are you located? And the playbook responds with the location. We are located at 1007 Mountain Drive, Gotham City, New Jersey. Now we can save this as an example. So let's select info information from here and click on save as example. And let's give it a name as location. Only the default generative playbook can start with a user action. So what we need to do is we need to delete the user action over here. And then we need to specify an input and output. In summary of the preceding conversation for the playbook invocation, we should write the customer asked, where are you located? And then we copy this particular output from here and paste it in the summary of the playbook execution result. Remember to specify the name over here and then click on save. 
and it says successfully created the example and you can actually go and check it like if you go to default generative playbook and you click on examples you can see that there's the greeting example over here and if you click on the information playbook and click on examples then you can see that you have the location example over here so now what we can do is we can actually reset this particular conversation and we can go to information again and create one more example for the hours of the store let's enter what are your hours over here and the playbook responds with we are open between 8 a.m and 6 p.m every day and then let's do the same thing again let's select information from invocations and click on save as example and let's put the name for this as ours then let's add summary of the preceding conversation for the playbook invocation the customer asked what are your hours and then let's delete this user action from here and let's copy this output and then let's go to input output and then enter the playbook execution result summary over here just checking we have the name over here and click save and it successfully created this particular example as well now let's go back to our um, order playbook and let's create an example over here so what we'll do is we'll first close the last example reset the conversation and then select the order playbook over here and then select 1.0 pro and we'll write i want to buy a shirt okay so the playbook responds with great what size shirt are you looking for so let's say large over here and what color so let's say green and so it asks for confirmation say yes and so it says okay your large green shirt is now ordered and then we can again save this as an example let's select order from here and let's click as save as example let's give it a name of selection and we can just delete this i want to buy a shirt from here and the customer asked i want to buy a shirt in the summary of the preceding conversation for the playbook and we'll not add anything over here in the example output and we we'll let the conversation below that be just like this and we click on save again all right so we have the selection example over here so now we have all the examples set up and now we can actually test our agent so let's go to the simulator again let's reset this conversation and let's go to the default playbook and let's now try to test it and we don't need to have the sample conversations again we can actually ask anything that we like so let's ask you know what are the shirt colors that are available so we have red green blue red green and blue shirts available all right so this would be going into the default generative playbook where can i buy it in a store so it doesn't know that um, so we might need to refine our examples for that but let's ask you know uh, where are your stores Okay, so then it actually goes from the default generative playbook to the information playbook over here. All right, and what times? Great, uh, can I order a shirt now? Okay, so it, it, it does not understand, can I order a shirt now? So let's say, um, okay, so it does understand, can I buy a shirt? So, you know, it does need a little bit more refinement. So let's say, you know, I want a black, so uh, it says we don't have black shirts in uh, stock although that went as a short over here and we have red green and blue shirts available all right so let's say you know can you make it red extra large Okay, so it doesn't, you know, answer to the query, please order the shirt for me. So we'll say, you know, um, make it a red shirt, extra large size, please. So it seems to be stuck on this, you know, um, extra large size thing. Let's say, okay, so what is your name and address? Now it is not supposed to collect any name and address and I'm not sure why that's um, going over there because we have explicitly mentioned not to ask for name and address but you see that you know you have an agent like this um, we can just say you know again probably I want to buy a shirt but you see you know that it can go on through a conversation and we do need to cover these corner cases with examples so unfortunately this does need a lot of more examples and covering all the corner cases before this can actually be used as a production system but this example just shows us how the playbooks work 
on Google Dialogflow conversational agents, how you can set up different playbooks, specify examples, and how you can actually transfer from one playbook to another to fulfill the objective of that particular playbook. So we will be covering more detailed examples, uh, you know, possibly leading up to a production system in the coming videos. But this was just an introduction to show how the Google playbooks work for Dialogflow. Thank you very much for watching. And if you did like this video, please do like and subscribe. 